Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Today is Thursday, November the 10th. Today we are using the uh, saintbeadproductions.com uh, app to pray morning prayer. Uh, you might find it under St. Bede's Breviary Mobile, but this is how it comes up on uh, my desktop. I do use the uh, mobile version um, when I'm using my cell phone. Uh, St. Bede Productions, and that is B-E-D-E, -E, as in the Venerable Bede, okay? Thank you. This is our fourth uh, different app that we are using when we pray the daily office. I hope that you will take advantage of those and, and remember them. Um, as we move through this cycle, you can always follow along, and you can always use the good old Book of Common Prayer or the Contemporary Prayer Book. Again, thank you so much for being with us. So let's start praying. And today we are commemorating Leo of Rome. He was a bishop uh, that died in 461. A reading from Habakkuk. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. And now together the Venite, and you will see that antiphon uh, during the different uh, uh, verses of the Venite. Um, sometimes we use those, sometimes we don't. I always like to begin with the Venite, uh, with the, the antiphon that is uh, listed for the day. I'll, be, I'll begin my homilies with that, whatever it is for the morning prayer on Sundays. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 23. And we all know that one. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So what you'll notice here, besides the translations, and there's so many different translations of the Bible, it shows the diversity of, of human thought, right, and interpretation. Um, you'll notice that there is a Gloria Patri after every psalm uh, in, in St. Bede's, whereas in other uh, apps that we have used, we wait till the end of uh, reading all of the psalms for the day before we do the Gloria Patri. So on with Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When evildoers came upon me to eat up my flesh, it was they, my foes and my adversaries, who stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, yet my heart not be afraid. And though we should rise up, war should rise up against me, yet will I put my trust in him? One thing I have asked of the Lord, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall keep me safe in his shelter. He shall hide me in the secrecy of his dwelling and set me high upon a rock. Even now he lifts up my head above my enemies round about me. 
Therefore, I will offer in his dwelling an oblation with sounds of great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hearken to my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy on me and answer me. You speak in my heart and say, Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor turn away your servant in displeasure. You have been my helper. Cast me not away. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will sustain me. Show me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Deliver me not into the hand of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me and also those who speak malice. What if I had not believed that I should see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living? O tarry and await the Lord's pleasure. Be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 83. O God, do not be silent. Do not keep still, nor hold your peace, O God. For your enemies are in tumult, and those who hate you have lifted up their heads. They take secret counsel against your people and plot against those whom you protect. They have said, Come, let us wipe them out from among the nations. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. They have conspired together. They have made an alliance against you, the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, the Moabites and the Hagarenes, Jebal and Ammon and Amalek and the Philistines and those who dwell in Tyre. The Assyrians also have joined them and have come to help the people of Lot. Do to them as you did to Midian, to Sisera, and to Jabin at the river of Kishon. They were destroyed at Endor, and they became like dung upon the ground. Make their leaders like Oreb and Zeb, all their commanders like Zeba and Zalmunna, Zalmunna, who said, Let us take for ourselves the field of God as our possession. O oh my God, make them like whirling dust, and like chaff before the wind, like fire that burns down a forest, like the flame that sets mountains ablaze. Drive them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Cover their faces with shame, O Lord, that they may seek your name. Let them be disgraced and terrified forever. Let them be put to confusion and perish. Let them know that you, whose name is Yahweh, you alone are the Most High over all the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Joel. Do not fear, o, o soil. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Do not fear, you animals of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness are green. The tree bears its fruit. The fig tree and vine give their full yield. O children of Zion, be glad and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down for you abundant rain, the early and the later rain as before. The threshing floors shall be full of grain. The vats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will repay you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent against you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I, the Lord, am your God, and there is no other, and my people shall never again be put to shame. Here ends the reading. The Song of Moses, together. I will sing the, to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him, the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of, the Fa of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. 
Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from James. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its full effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you is lacking in wisdom, ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given you. But ask in faith, never doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind, for the doubter, being double-minded and unstable in every way, must not to expect to receive anything from the Lord. Let the believer who is lowly boast in being raised up, and the rich in being brought low, because the rich will disappear like a flower in the field." For the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers in the field. Its flower fails and its beauty perishes. It is the same way with the rich. In the midst of a busy life, they will wither away. Blessed is anyone who endures temptation. Such a one has stood the test and will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. No one when tempted should say, I am being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself tempts no one. But one is tempted by one's own desire, being lured and enticed by it. Then, when the desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and that sin, when it is fully grown, gives birth to death. Here ends the reading. Gloria in excelsis together. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you are the alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Together, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. 
Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O Lord, our God, grant that your church, following the teaching of your servant Leo of Rome, may hold fast the great mystery of our redemption and adore the one Christ, true God and true man, neither divided from our human nature nor separate from your divine being. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are children of God, because they are ones who will rise. Satisfy us early with your mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world, that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life. Grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, he, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I call it for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for mission. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth our praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Again, thank you for joining us for morning prayer. Remember, let Jesus Christ be the first one you remember, the last one you forget, and leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning. We'll see you tomorrow.